did one lap out there. Was that one of the craziest laps you've ever done, I guess? It, yeah, it was <laughs> definitely one of the most interesting laps. Uh, never done anything in a stock car in the rain, let unless on really much, ro much road course experience. So mm -hmm. um, being out there in the wet, first time ever touching the racetrack, it was definitely a weird experience. Have you ever driven in the rain? Anything? No, never once in the rain. I mean, I went to GoPro Motorplex once or twice in the rain, but mm -hmm. I mean, that's nothing compared to this. Yeah. Have you been to this track before, like even as a fan, or is this your very first time? No, this is actually one of the bucket list tracks I want to go to as a fan, so kind of neat. I get to knock that one off the bucket list and get to race it. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, you raced uh, Millville this year. I mean, you said road coursing was pretty new, but you got your career best finish there. So is that maybe something that you seem to be kind of... Gra gravitating towards in a stock car is it something that's really surprised you i guess you could say i was a little bit surprised with how well we ran at new jersey um we ran like you said top six all day and we were capable of getting a top five but um we came out of there with a sixth place finish um ran i would say very well all day um the group the guys they always bring really good cars to the road course races i know colin has done really good in the years prior so um i'm really anxious to see how this race goes mm -hmm. and you got ernie on on the team yes. i mean he's a tremendous racer we saw what he did at millville this year i mean he's yeah. is he really someone who you really talking to a lot this weekend yeah i talked to him off and on as well as i'm really good buddies with Will rogers he's a good mm -hmm. friend of mine from a year or so back so now being able to kind of race against him and learn off him has been pretty good as well yeah now tell me what happened at Iowa I saw a couple of photos there was like some yeah. big pipe that went through the hood what happened well we were actually running very well we ran um, through the field and ran up to uh, we ran in third place at one point yeah well on the restart I think it was lap 110 1 115 or something like that um, we were following a car and I guess a car lost in cell pipe and it went straight through our nose and out our hood so we had a big hole about that big mm -hmm. in our nose and one that went straight down the hood so it's made, made the car essentially a parachute at the front mm -hmm. and uh it made it very tough to pat make it to, very tough to maintain my position and it was yeah. a definitely handful and that was a big race too once you put both of those series together i mean it's definitely one of the big races you want to perform well on i mean there's been a couple disappointments this year of all some good performance but when it came to that race i mean that had to be a, a huge you got still got a decent finish but definitely a shot in the arm for you oh yeah definitely i mean we we've needed a run like that we were able to compete we're running up front i mean as i said earlier we were on the top three at one point and that was yeah. a first for me um and i was running against guys from the west the best of the west and the best from out here as well so to see that to be that close to the front that was a big deal for me as a driver and i know it's a big deal for us as a crew as a team because we have the speed we've had the speed all year we just yeah. lack the track position and sometimes luck so i feel with how we've been running especially at new jersey uh, New Jersey, New Hampshire, and Iowa. Those are three tracks that I feel have really up my confidence, and I feel like we can go into the next few races here with some good finishes. Yeah. How are these cars treating you? I mean, it's I, I've heard it's a very big step up from yeah. late miles, especially legend cars. But you know, how are these stock cars been treating you this year? Um, these cars are very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, I had to really relearn everything that I've been taught in mm -hmm. late models, especially the West Coast late models, going into these. Um, you really have to hammer these things through the corners and that's something that I've just never had to worry about so much so mm -hmm. doing that with these cars especially with how much weight they have it's a very unnatural feeling from what I'm used to but I'm starting to get the hang of it and it obviously showed a little bit in Iowa yeah and road racing is very um, very close team obviously with the drive for diversity and everything uh, you've had Nick Sanchez and then all the you know the Cabries yeah. and Lubin and everybody mm -hmm. I mean I, I feel you guys are really learning together in this series is that really how it is or do you yeah. kind of do it do your own way inside um, the team we all have our own ways but we're all I mean as in the end we're all a team we're all really good buddies we all hang out with each other we were we were just at the lake earlier this week so i mean mm. we all hang out we're all really good friends i mean this is probably one of the best group of guys that i've ever been with so it's really cool to be able to hang out with those guys be friends with them and also work alongside them you kind of build each other i guess uh yeah a little bit you want to see each, each other. other succeed of course you want to see each other succeed but you also want to beat, beat each other yeah <laughs> sure. yeah and this year uh with your cranial cystinosis talked to you about that last year you've been a huge um advocate of a uh, spreading awareness for that and this year you've been on the biggest path or the biggest stage in your entire career do you feel that there's been more opportunities for you to spread awareness for that uh incredibly yes i mean i actually ironically today someone in the garage approached me his son had craniosynostosis wow. and uh they approached me they talked to me and i let the kids sit in my car he had he had the same thing as me same exact scar um so it's a pretty it's pretty neat to see that and it's it's kind of neat to show that it's not just a random scar it actually is a pretty pretty big deal if, if it's not treated correctly and it's um I'm really happy to kind of represent that among mm -hmm. the among the racing community yeah when you're racing on a track like this where the cup guys are racing and Xfinity guys do you can't is it 
I don't know, do you, are you able to really go around and really talk to a few of those guys? I don't know how many opportunities you've had of doing that this year. Yeah, of course. Like I, especially when I go to like other other ovals as well that like the Cubs and the Xfinity drivers go on. Like I, I'll occasionally talk to some guys that run the trucks, Xfinity, whoever I really can, just to get extra knowledge. Because in the end, I mean, Kane and Kane and cars. You can talk to Kane and drivers as well because they are also very knowledgeable but some but sometimes it's also beneficial to go to them because of the fact they're used to driving fast and they're used to driving on these radial tires that are so new mm -hmm. so they could tell help, help me understand what the trends are with them so yeah. it's uh it's neat to have very different um sources yeah have your family been able to travel around with you or are they still out in the out uh, west coast yeah my mom and dad they they come to every one of my races so it's nice. really good to have them here nice absolutely yeah definitely appreciate your time Ryan. of um, course yeah, whenever the piece is posted, I'll probably, uh, you know, send it your way. Okay. I'll try to take some photos of you today Perfect. as well. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, thanks. best of luck today.